guys in this video i'll show you guys how to connect a ps4 controller to your pc wider wirelessly but without download any software so with this method you don't need to download any software so now let's jump with the video so here there's a few things you need first your controller then the cable and then your pc so you can use your pc or laptop it doesn't matter and also i'm running the brand new windows 11 so if you're running windows 11 10 8 or 7 is a, a, a same thing so first you're gonna do you're gonna, you're gonna uh, uh, plug it in but things if you need to do wirelessly you can just connect to the uh, bluetooth so just open up the uh, bluetooth setting and then you're gonna hold the share and the policy at the same time until it, it's gonna start flashing as you said it's a, a, a really simple so after that you're just gonna uh, uh, plug it in so if you're doing wide it's more better because uh, you can have a b b better battery so if you do, if you're doing uh, like a bluetooth you can see it'll uh, 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 run out of battery as you said, uh, after it connected, you're gonna see it, it will be auto automatically uh, detected. So for this, uh, I'll just quickly open up the Steam. Because if you don't know, Steam is the best uh, platform for, for any games. And now we're gonna see it's working instantly from out of the box. There's no uh, anything you need to download or anything. So now we're just gonna open up the setting. Then you're gonna tap on the controller setting. Now make sure that for that top one, the guide button is on. And also the position configure support is on now we're gonna go to the controller shutdown time with with this uh, like uh, for how many minutes the controller is shut down so you can do five minute to 128 min 120 minute or you can do never so this never the controller in a, a, a never shut down so for this i'll just do 15 minute after that we're gonna go to the con controller uh, detector controller so this is what you're gonna see if your controller is connected or not so now we're just gonna tap on the top one. So this is what you're gonna uh, personalize your control. So so this is what you're gonna uh, customize it. So the first one is the name. So we're just gonna uh, label like that. So the next one is the rumble. So if you don't know what's the rumble, it's, it's just a, 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 a vibration. So if you're playing any game, you can actually feel it. So make sure this is on. So if you don't like this, you can actually turn it off, but I like it, so I'll just turn it on. So now is the uh, color. So the color of this, so if you just go like this, you're gonna see that the uh, color will actually change as you said it is right here in the top you're gonna see it will actually it's a changing just like that you're gonna see the uh, control light they change or you can just use the mouse uh, mouse to uh, uh, move it just like that so after that we're gonna tap on the controller light so I'll for me I'll do 100 so for 100 it, it's just all the way up for the a like saturation i'll also do max after that it's just going to click on submit after that so there's a color right so that's when if your controller is working or not you're going to see that it is working that uh, you're going to go back and now going to click on identify so if you have the rumble you can actually feel it on your hand after that we're just going to go back and now now uh, that's pretty much it so now we can just open up any game so for this uh, example, I'll just open up a, 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 a simulation game. But things on Steam, you're gonna see next to your controller. You're gonna see which uh, game is uh, like uh, if your controller is uh, compatible or not. As you can see, so I just quickly launched Fortnite. I don't know why, but <laughs> we launched Fortnite. As you said, from the start, you're gonna see that controller does work. Once again, we did not download any software. So as you said, so this is like a, a plug and play. So, uh, but things before I do anything, I highly recommend going in the setting and then uh, uh, change up, changing up the thing, hey, uh, changing up the setting. So I'll just go, go to the setting. Make sure uh, you, you do the same thing. So just go to the setting, then tap, go all the way down to this controller. And now over here, you're gonna choose the controller. So for us, it's on PlayStation 4. C configuration, you can do old school, quick builder, combat, combat builder pro or custom. So I'll just do builder pro. Then you're gonna click on app apply. So with the triangle. Boom, and now supply now now you can just go, go into any game so just uh, open up any game that you want so you can just open up any game that, that, that support controller as in said so the game is uh, running well at once again i'm using a controller now if i just jump you're gonna see uh, the character will jump as in said once again the controller work absolutely fine there's no problem or anything so okay so that's it for this quick video if you get into this video then uh, don't, 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 don't smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel I see you guys next time. Done. Peace out.